All right, well, now before we go, I have a very special guest sitting right here in Kevin Frazier's chair. You see this, Kevin? He's very cute. <laughs> a warm welcome for Alfred Enoch from How to Get Away with Murder. Good to have you here. Thank you very much for having me. It's nice to be here. I love you're using your real accent right now. Well, it's nice to mix it up. I've been <laughs> yeah. talking the other way for a long time, so I thought I'd give this a shot. It feels good to be you, doesn't it? <laughs> so when are we going to find out who killed the girl who started the whole show? Right. That, that will be revealed in the second half of the season. So that's coming. Answers are coming. So if okay. anyone's sort of sitting at home, deeply frustrated, biting uh -huh. their nails, is that you? Uh-huh. You will We're gonna be find out. satisfied. Okay, promise. that's good to hear. Can you give us a little tidbit about tonight's episode? Oh, um, we find out a bit more about exactly what Viola Davis's character, Annalise Keating, knows about the night of the murder. We see exactly how involved she is. I've been waiting for you to come so I could ask you this. Sexual tension between you, Wes, your character, mm. and Professor Keating, Viola Davis. So, She's you a ever... beautiful woman. Oh, she is. Mm. You ever gonna have sex with the teacher? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, honestly. It's a very sort of strange relationship and there's a lot to it. Um, I think it's sort of, there's something maternal about her protection of him as we sort of see it in the ninth episode and is going forward the length that she goes to to look out for him and the other students um, so I would be surprised should that occur really but the show is full of surprises you They're never know what those writers mind. are gonna come up with yeah. do you? I know I understand you actually don't have your driver's license no I do I do I you just do. don't drive when I'm here why that, is that I um, got told by pretty much everyone I knew that if I'm gonna be out in LA working, you need a car. So I was thinking I'm going to try and not get a car just because I'm a contrarian just that way. Just because you wanna be different. Right. There you go. I, I like so to be a little bit So you actually ride the bus, but you're on bus. a very, very popular show now. Mm. Isn't that a little difficult? Are you being recognized? People stopping you as you're trying to no, it's not. It's not hey, too bad. I sort of, <laughs> I sort of put my put my money in the slot and go and sit down, and then occasionally someone looks at me a bit funny, um, and one or two things will happen from there. Either they'll sort of get a bit confused and unsettled and leave it at that, or they'll finally sort of clock and come up to me and be like, "You're in, you're in that show," sort of with a bit of disbelief, as in like, "What are you doing in the bus?" And someone actually asked me that. I said, "What are you doing?" on this bus. I said, well, just <laughs> heading down sunset like everybody else. Over there. And, and then they probably try and get tidbits about the show, as I do. They do sometimes. I uh, had a really long conversation with a guy who was very excited about it, trying to find out what was going on. And I sort of said to him, do you enjoy the show? You seem to. He was like, yeah, I love it. I said, well, you don't want me to tell you what happens. That's part of the fun. You want to find it out sort of week to week as the episodes unravel. You want to find out what the writers have in store. I'm not going to do it justice telling you. That's the perfect on the, answer. On the number 10. And you actually use uh, the accent, the American accent you use on the show, on the bus. I do. Why? I do. Um, to fit in? Just to kinda. fit in. That is, honestly, that is sort of part of it.